Hello there, great gamers, and welcome to yet another episode of Minecraft Mod Showcases. So, on this particular video, we're going to cover a mod called Placeable Items Mod, which basically turns items into blocks, and this is freaking amazing. So, let's continue with the showcase. So, I divided this video into three separate parts. One will be um, telling you which items can be now placed, so you the crafting recipes. Uh, the other part will be um, showing you some ways on how you can use those items. And the other one, we're going to go into this tunnel and I will show you every single model of uh, the items. So. First things first, let's go in here and let me tell you um, what items can now be placed. You can have, you can have all the food uh, stuff placed except cake. You're, you already were able to uh, place it down. Uh, combat, you can place down every single arrow and every single sword as well with a bow even if it is enchanted or no every single potion also you can place down the glass bottle bottle of enchanting and the dragon's breath the next items you can place are over here emerald, diamonds, gold etc etc and these items where you can craft some potions you can place down each and every single uh, music disc, as well with books, enchanted, enchanted books, uh, book and quill, which actually has two different um, models, one when it's written and one when it's not. You can place down fire charges, card on stick, uh, all the buckets, snowballs, bones, slime balls, and I already said bottle or enchanting. And last but not least, you can place down your compass, which is actually working. Beetroot seeds, a working clock, sticks, the coarse fruit, nether bricks, clay, brick, wheat, feathers, bowls, eggs, and popped coarse fruit. This mode actually adds two new crafting recipes and items. Here are the crafting recipes. The saddle stand, which uses uh, five uh, pieces of wood and a stick, and the horse armor stand, which uses the same amount of wood and sticks, plus two iron ingots on the top corners, and you will have this awesome um, stand over there. So, let me show you um, the stands real quick. Uh, this is the saddle stand where you can put your saddle and it looks like this and uh, the horse armor stand which is here is naked here has um, iron armor gold and diamond so let's go inside and let me show you it's an every single model this is the clock this is um, when it's uh, placed down and you can actually put it on walls a glistering melon every single um disc over here iron ingot and gold ingot boom 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 gold ingot which is uh stackable it can go from um one up to i think six yeah up to six ingots at the same spot and you can have them like this. Also, I forgot to mention that every single um, model has a 45 degree rotation. So you can have like, you can have it like all these different ways placed down. Uh, the next is the diamond, which I don't know why it reminds me of an egg. Like a dragon egg or something. Uh, the emerald over here, coal, charcoal, 
the uh, the drinkable portions and I think yeah now we have the splash portions over here every single one and if I'm not mistaken uh, if we right click it yeah it will break down and it will give uh, the effect to us it's not working right now I don't know why let me stay here oh you need to be at the same uh, level and I also think if you do it with uh, the normal portions oh okay let's move on um, beetroot soup and then we go to uh, every single arrow they will have the exact same uh, model but it's a um, different color for its um, effect. Now we have the eye of vendor, which is amazing. I really like that. We have the enchanted golden, golden apple and the golden apple. They're the same. Uh, I would love that. Um, I would love to the enchanted golden apple to have uh, like. Um, the enchant effect around it, you know, the glowing that would be extremely awesome. We have the leather over here, uh, every single sword, which if you right click it, it will stand up like it's uh, stuck into the block. The bow over here, um, raw chicken, apple, the <laughs> The puffer face, I don't know why, but it reminds me of a murder mask, something like that. It's freaking me out. Imagine this coming to you at uh, a dark valley. Oh, I would turn into Usain Bolt and run my boot off. Rodan Flesh. Mutant, a pumpkin pie, which it is like cheese, isn't it? Am I crazy? Okay. Poisonous potato, raw mutant, fish, the cooked pork chop, the glass bottle, the bottle of enchanting, which is amazing. As you can see, it has a uh, glowing effect. And Dragon's Breath, which, in my opinion, is just something out of this world. Uh, beetroot, carrot, uh, baked potato, the bread, which is huge. I would love uh, the bread to be like cake and then. If you right click it, it will be uh, sliced. Uh, fish, salmon, Nemo, uh, cooked salmon, the spider eye. Oh, that's, uh, that's make me chill. You know, the tail behind. Uh, the raw rabbit, the steak, it looks delicious. Uh, the cooked rabbit, a rabbit skew, which is amazing, again, it's 3D over here, it's not that, just, you know, a uh, pixel. Uh, raw beef, a melon, a cookie, mmm, yummy. And then we have um, milk, I don't know, milk and cookies, they go well together, and I've put them, I put, uh, them together. Now we have lava over here. Thankfully, you cannot step inside and burn yourself ac uh, by accident. Now we have water and an empty bucket. And actually, if you have a bucket and right click it, uh, you will get the water and then the bucket will become empty. But now, because we are in game mode C, um, it just removes the the lava, the water, 
and everything else. The gout on the stick over here, the actual egg and not the diamond, the popped coarse fruit, a feather. I guess you can use it to create like an awesome um, writing desk, an empty bowl, the ender pearl, the books, uh, the book and quill. Uh, when it is written and when it is empty, or all the enchanted books uh, will look like that. Uh, here we have some wheat. The fire charge, uh, if you right click it, it fires a fire charge. Let's test it out, I guess, um, outside. The slime ball, which is actually bouncing. If you can, if you can see it, boing, 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 nice, and make some sounds. Here we have the bone, the snowball. If you want to create like a, a snowball arena, you can place them down and use it as decoration or ammunition. The brick, some clay, the nether brick, uh, the coarse root which is like um, with some horns over here the golden carrot the magma cream which is actually it looks tasty I want to lick it that didn't sound well moving on the blaze rod which is actually uh, emitting light if you right click it with uh, flint and steel and you can place it like that and right click it and it will emit light it's a different way of I guess placing torches into your builds or glowstone you can use it like that and maybe create like stairs a difficult stairs to step on I guess Wait, I have an idea. Um, if we put down... Yeah, that's better. Kinda. Uh, blaze powder, which is glistering over here, as you can see. The beetroot seeds. A stick. If you want a stick. Damn it. I cannot emit it on put it on fire. And the copons, which is actually um working. As you can see, I changed the world spawn point into here and now it faces this way. Oh, but I almost forgot to fire the fire charge. Let's right click. Whoa! I created this um, I guess small house, a basic house, I guess, a starter house. And I want to use the models to, I guess, enhance the interior of the house. So let's step inside and let's, I guess, go into the kitchen first. As you can see, instead, instead of having like uh, only blocks and a cauldron, maybe a furnace and this? No. Oh, I will show you that later. Uh, you can have your food actually uh, into your kitchen. The working clock over here. Now we have um, a reading desk, I guess. You go here and you make notes, read uh, things from the bookcases. Uh, the classic, um, not actually classic, uh, the, ooh, the different way to emit uh, light into your room. You can turn the blaze uh, road into a cool, uh, here we have a small um, brewing area, I guess, with all the brewing um, material that you will need. Here we have a my bedroom, I guess you can call it. 
here I, I sleep and I have a bucket of milk next to me because I love actually lamb um, milk and I drink it quite a lot. So let's move on. Let's go downstairs and let me show you this. Imagine um, creating a better refinery and spicing it up with some uh, materials onto the grounds or maybe some tables. As you can see, we can have some coal and charcoal as fuel for um, smelting, I guess, our swords into here and then refining them um, into the anvil. Here we have, the, um, I guess, the weapons that we made. And here we have some um, of our armor, some armor that we have um, placed into on top of armor stands and when you want to i guess go into combat you right click it no actually you left click it i forgot about that uh you left click it it breaks and you get the item as you can see this is really quickly and yeah now we have like four arrows and an iron sword ready to go to battle. Anyway, great gamers. Um, thank you. Oh, that's where the fire charts had. Uh, I cannot speak English today. Nor yesterday. Okay. Never mind. Let's move on. Um, as I was saying, thanks uh, a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, hopefully you will download this uh, mod because it's extremely um, useful and I guess aesthetic pleasing. Um, hopefully the creator of this mod will continue updating the, the mod and creating, cre making it better and better every single update so yeah again thanks for watching and goodbye